Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to New York. Big news out of the Bronx. Mikey the Nose Mancuso, godfather of the Bonanno crime family, is home. Checked into a halfway house about a week early. He is back from 11 months as a guest of the government for a supervised release violation. Um, And a lot has changed in the last uh, 11 months since he left. All all really for the better, if you're the Bananos. Um, things were relatively unstable there for five years, for four, four years, four or five years. Um, and Mancuso was kind of feeding the flames of discontent, you know, exclusive to our reporting. Um, wouldn't let sleeping dogs lie with the guys in Brooklyn, Joe C, Joe Camerano, and those guys who had tried to vote him out of power when he was finishing up the prison sentence that he was on supervised release for, for 12 years for the Randy Pizzolo murder. Uh, he had hit squads looking for, looking for the Cameranos. I know there's a lot of people out there that, that look at that with um, some skepticism because it hasn't been reported uh, in the mainstream media, but I am as positive as positive can be on this. It will eventually come out in court filings. I'm certain. Um, but from what I'm told, Everything is is copacetic now to a much better degree than it had been. Um, and Mancuso is coming out to kind of a whole different landscape. He's got the wind on his wind at wind at his back, a lot of momentum. There's been a lot of um optic shifts, um, narrative shifts. Uh, he's got the support now, uh, firm support of the West Side and the Gambinos who were worried about some of the instability and telling him to kind of straighten up and fly right. He heeded their advice and really has stabilized the Bananos in the last year. Uh, Everybody's one happy family. Uh, I reported at at our uh, uh, our web magazine uh, companion uh, piece of content that we, (laughs) however you want to describe it, Gangster Report, uh, that back in June, early June, there was a, a, a meeting or a, a gathering of pretty much the entire Bonanno crime family as a show of unity in the months before Mancuso came out uh, at his girlfriend's eyeglass store in Long Island. Everybody showed up, um, including what i am been reporting is kind of the X factor in this whole situation. Uh, the OG himself, Bruno Indelicato kind of a frenemy, quote unquote, of of Mikey Mancuso's through the years. But uh, I've been reporting, Gangster Report has been um, trumpeting the promotion of Indelicato to the conciliary post. And uh, as a means of building a bridge to Brooklyn and getting the Cameranos and Mancuso all on the same page, um, it, you know, Bruno is another guy that has had a bit of a um, an image makeover uh, as a guy that you know is still known as a you know he's an old school cowboy type, but uh, he's mellowed in his old age as it looks like Mancuso has. Mikey's sixty nine, uh, Bruno seventy seven, and um, they're they're being really, in my opinion, and in the opinion of the people I talk to on both sides of the law. Uh, they are being very savvy now for a couple guys that kind of shot from the hip, uh, pun intended, for the first 65 plus years of of their uh, of their careers. Um, in their old age, they've gotten a little bit more deliberate um, and are thinking more long term. I'm also told that when Mancuso was gone, that things were just very tight. Everything was was all pistons were firing. Uh, well-oiled machine, more so than it had been in a while under uh, Mancuso's acting boss, Johnny Joe Spirito. Um, this is his best friend and uh, will be his his underboss now. Johnny Joe and acting underboss Ernie Aiello, who is Mancuso's protege, were running the family. I think uh, the two Johnnies, Johnny uh, uh, Skyway and, and Johnny Mulberry, are also uh, playing a role. Um, then you bring in Bruno. Mikey's coming back. And uh, bright skies for the bananas right now. 
Um, and, and, and it's been a complete 180 uh, since two years ago when, when all that nastiness exploded uh, in July of 22 uh, at the uh, funeral and wake of uh, Vito Grimaldi and uh, the, the fight between the Camerano brothers and guys that Mancuso had sent, uh, including Aiello and, and Johnny Mulberry. But, uh, you know, all reports from the Bronx, which is where the, the power base of the Bananos are right now, uh, because that's where Mikey Mancuso was from, that, uh, it, that it's been a change for the better and that things are really positive right now, even to the extent where this, from what I'm told, this Indelicato promotion plays with Vinny Basciano, Vinny Gorgeous, the former uh, boss, uh, Mancuso's predecessor, who underboss, acting boss, they fell out. Vinny was trying to kill Mikey. Uh, but I'm told that some of that ice is thawing as uh, Basciano fights an appeal, and then he still has loyalists um, that have kind of been blocked from any forward movement uh, in the last 10, 15 years. And, I, and I'm told within Delicato that's uh, that's changing as well. So Mikey Mancuso is out a week early. Uh, we reported it first here at Gangster Report and um, now on OG Pod. It was, it was broken by Gangster Report. Uh, he was supposed to come out August 4th. He came out on the 26th, I believe, hit the halfway house Friday morning um so he's got three years of supervised release he's not allowed to go back to his girlfriend's uh eye eyeglass shop because that's where he was breaking his violation uh, breaking his supervised release um restrictions and holding meetings so uh he'll probably keep his head low but johnny johnny joe has done a just from what i understand an amazing job at keeping things the ship moving in the right direction and and things are much better than when he left that's the update. Mikey Mancuso home, 69 years old, and, and his power is only growing as he as he approaches his, his 70s. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein, please like, share, and subscribe, uh, and we'll keep bringing you the best breaking gangland news from across the country. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod out.